There are those that believe that China is the most technologically advanced nation in the world, and they might not be wrong. In terms of AI research, China and the United States were far apart some 20 years ago. While both public and commercial research efforts were steadily increasing in the United States, China was still engaged in low-value-added manufacturing sectors. But things have changed now, and China has accelerated to quickly catch up in the ensuing years. And now, China is currently developing a humanoid robot that will be capable of performing a range of menial tasks in Chinese restaurants, nursing homes, hospitals, and households. What does this humanoid robot look like? And how soon will it hit the market? Stick around to the end of the video and we'll discuss all these and more. Let's get into it. China's humanoid robot Jia Jia was revealed to the world in 2017 when her unconventional conversations with the world's leading AI experts, including Kevin Kelly, went viral on the internet. Viewers were astounded by her human-like looks and enthralled by her efficiency under uncooperative Skype conditions. Jia Jia was China's first humanoid robot, was unveiled for the first time in 2016 by an engineering team from the University of Science and Technology of China. Team leader Chen Xiaoping spoke with the tone of a proud father as he and his prototype made an appearance at an economic conference organized by banking agents UBS in Shanghai's Cutting Edge Financial District on Monday the 9th, January 2017. Jia Jia's creators think that the startling lifelike robot heralds a time when cyborg labor would be common in China, since she can engage in a basic conversation and exhibit certain human-like facial expressions when asked questions. Chen Xiaoping said that Jia Jia has some emotional intelligence and she can recognize human facial expressions and respond with facial expressions of her own. Artificially intelligent AI robots like Jia Jia, according to Chen, could start carrying out a variety of manual labor duties in Chinese restaurants, nursing homes, hospitals, and residences over the next 10 years. Chen said, in five to 10 years, there will be a lot of applications for robots in China. Jia Jia has astonishingly real-looking flowing black hair, and she is usually dressed in traditional Chinese attire. But her beauty has its limits, and she is sometimes unable to understand simple questions. Nevertheless, Chen claimed that his team has developed her AI quite well during the previous two years, and they will keep working to make her better. She was unable to correctly respond to a question about the day's weather, engage in simple chats, and identify the gender of her interviewers. She complimented one of the interviewers by saying, You're a handsome man. And when she was asked if she had a boyfriend, she said, I prefer to stay single. A member of the audience attempted to take a photo of her during the press conference, and her response was truly remarkable. She said, Don't come too close to me when you are taking a picture. It will make my face look fat. Jia Jia stands out from previous models because of the freedom with which her eyes travel across the room and the near-perfect synchronization of her lip movements with her words. The project's completion and Jia Jia's transformation into a robot woman took the team a total of three years. Now, in order to upgrade the model and possibly create Jia Jia 2.0, the team is working to fix and enhance some features. Her hands will be given more adoptable appearance so they won't look like mannequin hands. Jia Jia is incapable of laughing or crying so the team also aims to include these abilities in the next model. A higher level of human interaction and response is also something that they want to teach Jia Jia. There aren't any firm plans to mass produce her yet because she's regarded as a priceless innovation. But maybe we'll be able to have meaningful interactions with humanoid robots in the not too distant future. Although Jia Jia is definitely not perfect yet, Chen believes that humanoid robots like her have a promising future in China. He claims that rising income was pushing many young Chinese away from waitressing and other service-related occupations, while an aging population would want more staff in hospitals and nursing homes, even if those hands weren't human. Chen also displayed a video that showed a less lifelike but more functional robot making and serving tea to some members of his team at his university lab in Anhui, China's easternmost province. Chen also brushed aside science fiction worries about robots becoming too intelligent for our own good. He said, As long as this is done in a step-by-step -step and controlled manner, I don't think there will be a big impact on society. 
it won't harm human beings. The Chinese people and the world really was hit with another shocking artificial intelligent robot appearing in 2019 when a robot named Xin Ming became the first female robot to anchor a news station. China again proved its technological prowess in artificial intelligence. It's an intriguing one-minute video presentation by Xin Hao. The artificial intelligent robot named Xin Ming was seen sporting a short haircut, a pink blouse and earrings. This humanoid robot newscaster imitates human facial expressions and mannerisms to convey a story about delegates traveling to Beijing for an annual parliament gathering. It's interesting to note that Xin is also the second AI-based news anchor to work for the news organization. The search engine, Sogu, assisted the creation of Xin Ming, and she was designed to look like the real-life Xin Hao newscaster, Qiu Meng. Zhao Meng said in a video posted on Twitter, Hello to everybody who's watching. Then she went on to introduce herself as the broadcaster for China's two-session political conference in March 2019. Zhao Meng has now joined the two male AI reporters from Xin Hao who have been covering the conference since they were introduced in November 2018. Xin Hua revealed that her male colleague, Xin Zhao Hao, has received an upgrade as she introduced herself to the world. China revealed another humanoid artificial intelligent robot in 2019. This one was seen wearing a stylish silver bob hair and had very realistic silicone skin. One weird thing, though, is that she had exposed mechanical parts. Jiang Lai Lai, a stunning humanoid female robot powered by artificial intelligence, co-hosted a variety show called Creating the Future with Intelligence with a human co-host. This is a show made to showcase and explain new technology and innovations in China. The show, with its extraordinary human-robot host pair, instantly drew in interested viewers after showing the first episode during primetime on the Zhejiang television on January 6, 2019, and it became one of the most watched programs from that network. Every episode of the show focused on different aspects of technology, such as the most recent advancements in prosthetic limbs, 3D printing, facial recognition, big data, and mobile payments. Jiang Lai Lai, the female robot anchor of Zhejiang Television, was 18 years old in 2019 and enjoys singing, comic book reading, and eating snacks, according to a banner that introduced her. It was also mentioned that the robot is very skilled at analyzing large amounts of data and at being cute. The female robot presenter was seen presenting the episode's subjects while standing on stage in the station's images and trailers. She makes rather lifelike lip movements and hand gestures while speaking in a soothing voice. EX Robots the first domestic manufacturer of lifelike robots, situated in the Liaoning region of northeast China, is said to be responsible for the development of the android. The female bot has gained popularity since making her television debut, and the videos of her have been watched more than 1 billion times in the short-form video apps Douyu and Shu, according to the Public Relations Office of the Administration in Panjin City. Product manager Nui Shu Hia claims that the company is striving to create practical robots that can communicate, offer public service, and help with medical care. Speaking to Mail Online, Mr. Nui said, We develop robot hosts like Jian Lai Lai entirely with Chinese technologies, from the design to building the hardware, as well as developing AI and software algorithms and assembling. While many internet users were happy to see a new face on their TVs, others were worried that this trend of developing artificially intelligent robots might lead to the rise of the machines. While acknowledging the concerns about a fictional robot insurrection, Mr. Niu argued that machines exist to assist people. He reassured them that the company's goal is to create useful tools that can support and help those doing labor that is monotonous, risky or repetitive freeing them up to do more productive and meaningful jobs. He said, It's normal to fear the unknown, but in the end, robots are developed by human intelligence and controlled by its human inventors. So, what do you think about these female humanoid robots? Let us know down in the comments section below.